What's good, everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today, we got some brand new action figure farts in a can, custom, stupid, idiot, dumb, moron, idiot, dumb. But seriously, today, guys, we have a stack of customs here. Not a stack, more of really a, a domino type fart in a bag thing again. Another dumbass joke. That makes no sense, but I'm gonna keep making it because I'm a jackass. Anyways, guys, I have some completed customs that I'm super excited about, but I also have some other things that uh, that I'm gonna run by you that I had some ideas for. So let's go ahead and just dive right in, guys. First of all, let's get into two of the most epic customs that I think are here on the channel now, and it is, uh, if you guys don't know who these guys are, we have a custom elite Luchasaurus and a custom elite Jungle Boy, guys, and I know what everybody's gonna say. OMDT, that jungle boy is way too tall. Well, Brad, it's not actually too tall. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a figure to prove my worth. Okay, so this is Randall Keith Orton. Randall Keith Orton is approximately six foot five. Now, with this mask on, it would make sense that Luchasaurus would probably be a, just a little bit taller than Randall Keith, which you can clearly see here. Randall Keith is a little bit shorter than this Luchasaurus. Now, Jungle Boy, on the other hand, is an approximate height of five foot seven inches tall. Now, if you compare this here in RL, he's probably, he comes up to about the mouth of Luchasaurus. I think the thing that makes him a little bit too tall is probably his hair, but I do want to go over here and grab a Rey Mysterio so that you guys can see exactly what I'm talking about as the height is pretty accurate. God in heaven! Yes, I did grab the Rey Mysterio before picking the camera back up. Oh my god, I snapped the leg off of the effing tripod. Oh, God in heaven, Lord and Jesus in Christ. What in the blue hell is this? Okay, well, actually, it's kind of funny. I'll show you guys at the end of the video. The, the tripod leg is completely snapped in half, but for some miraculous reason, probably because I'm the goat. No, I'm just kidding, but seriously. It's actually, uh, actually going to stand on its own for at least the duration of this video. So uh, now that I have the, the Rey Mysterio up next to the Jungle Boy, it's clearly obvious that maybe he is an inch or two too, too tall. Well, didn't have to see that. He's too tall, damn it. Maybe you were right. Maybe the people going, MDT, that Jungle Boy is too tall. Maybe you have a point, but it's not that bad. And I made it as short as I possibly could. The only way you could make him any shorter is to possibly switch out these boots, but I like these boots for Jungle Boy. And I've tried the ultimate short legs. I've used the Johnny Gargano slash Tommaso Ciampa legs, which are the shortest you can find. And I switched out his calves for the shortest calves you can find, unless you got kick pad legs. In that case, these boots will not fit. But anyways, uh, Jungle Boy is completely finished, as you guys can see. This is the head scan from BEW. We got the Tatanka boots. We got the little Tatanka wrap thing. I know that you're not supposed to have this on. You're supposed to have uh, brown uh, trunks, but it doesn't bother me. I kind of like it. It kind of ties in together with Luchasaurus. But Luchasaurus is also completely finished, guys. Just one of my favorite figures in the collection. Uh, he looks like a freaking beast mode. I mean, we got everything going on. We have all of his tattoos. We have his beautiful mask. We have his green uh, paint on his fingers we have all of his tattoo work going around uh all of it all of these are decals all the tattoos are decals and uh you know i applied those i got the uh the gold waist wrap thing we got the green scaly uh pants going on gold knee pads gold kick pads and we do have the black feet going on so i did have to include luchasaurus and jungle boy they're right here so i did uh, i know a bunch of people were looking at that and wanting to see what those look like completely so there they are in the flesh in the in the freaking whatever i honestly don't know why the sim baller standing here. What are you doing, Brad? You're not supposed to be here. I think I was going to recap some of the customs we've done this month, but there's no point. There's there's no point in that. Here it is anyways, if you guys missed it. Updated Elite 70 uh, Finn Balor. You guys know how I feel about this figure. Big super ultimate letdown there, but you know what? It is what it is. Uh, here's Randall Keith Orton. We kind of covered why he's in this video. Um, there's no point in even recapping that. I was trying to get a height comparison and it, uh, it worked out as far as he was concerned, but as far as Luchasaurus is concerned, not Luchasaurus, but Jungle football jungle football boy uh, it, it totally ruined it so there is that but uh, getting into the rest of the video what I wanted to talk about guys now that we've covered all these customs 
So getting into this right here, guys, I had a really wicked idea. Somebody said down in the comment section below yesterday when we reviewed the Ghostbusters Elite set, if you guys missed the Ghostbusters Elite set review, we reviewed this as well as the other figures in the wave right here. Shawn Michaels, John Cena, The Rock, all this, all these bullshitters over here in the corner. If you guys missed that review, definitely go check it out on the channel. Um, God dang, dude, this leg is snapped in half. It's so funny. I cannot wait to show you guys that at the end. But uh, what we did is we reviewed that full set again. If you did miss that, please go check it out on the channel. But somebody hit me up in the comment section. They said, Brad, why don't you take a purple singlet and just paint all the skin tone and make it where there's an undertaker with a purple singlet? And I was like, you know what, Brad? That is an excellent question slash idea, but uh, it's not as simple as just painting all the skin tone. That would be really messy. That would probably get really ugly really, really quick. So what I said you should do is you should take off the hat like so. What you should do is you should crack off the head. Not crack off. You want to you wanna pop that off with the heat and pop method. You don't want to crack it off. Then you're going to ruin the figure. So you pop the head scan off. You would set that to the side. You would crack the torso. You would remove these shoulders and arms here. You would crack this torso that I have extra laying around. You would plug these shoulders and arms into this torso. You would then uh, paint the purple skin tone. Not the singlet, you stupid jackass. You would paint the chest, the shoulders, all this stuff going around, all this, and including the neck. And then you would take a head scan like this, either the WrestleMania one or the Basic 74. I think that's the Basic series. Uh, one of the best ta uh, take our head scans in my opinion. I think it's better than the True Effects. I really love this head scan. Um, it's just beautiful. So there is that. Uh, you take that head scan and you put it on there, and bro, you would be cooking with peanut oil. I think that'd be a really bad act. You'd have an Undertaker in a purple singlet with uh, purple boots, and th this would be optional, is you could take the boots and switch them out for black Undertaker boots. These are not the ones I'm thinking of. It's these, but molded in black. I have a ton of them, just not right here to show you guys. Please believe me. So that is uh, a custom idea that I had. I wanted to know uh, what you guys thought. I don't think I want to do it just yet, though, because what if this Ghostbuster set ends up being like Harley Race, where, you know, you can't find those bitches anywhere and you know we can't find them anywhere and then you know I'm sitting here I crack my undertaker I effed him all up and then oh my god I'm dropping stuff and then I end up not getting anything and that would really upset me so that is something I do not want to do so uh, that, that's just something I'm not going to do just yet if I find another one at Wally World at Walmart at Fart in a Bag I'm going to pick that one up and then we'll do that on surgery or something I think that'd be a really cool surgery video so that is what I wanted to include with the undertaker that is something uh uh, if you guys find The Undertaker and you guys have like a, an idea for that, that is something that crossed my mind. Uh, another thing we got is these Finn Balors and literally all this is, guys, is some decal work that I did and I know, MDT! Those decals look like shit, man! Shit, man! Sh sh shit! man. They look terrible. They, you can see all the white outline on them. Yeah, I know, Brad. I, I haven't painted them just yet. I still have to add some paint to the edges. So all of these decals actually do look like trash. You actually are right. Uh, I gotta add paint to all of them. So, uh, But I did want to update you guys as I finally added all the decals to these Finn Balors. I just have to add the uh, the paint around it and fill in all these gaps. You guys can see these are two totally different grays. I'm gonna have to fill in that gray and white there. These are probably gonna be a nice to finish because I have to get the same exact colors that I had and I have to fill in all these gaps so that's going to be trash but hopefully it'll look okay when they're done then I got to seal them up and finally those Finn Balors that we talked about forever ago will be finally complete seas with their decals I know that uh, that was a long time ago and now we're getting into the final portion of the video guys I had this crazy idea for this Kevin Owens you guys know one of my favorite wrestlers in the world we got Kevin Owens right here and this is the Elite 61 correct I think this is the Elite 61 with that trash awful, terrible, short-haired head skin that has good likeness to Kevin Owens, but the hair is so bad that nobody even wants to look at it, so you throw it in the trash, never to be seen again, and then you have to sell your house because your house burnt down because you burnt the figure and you throw it in the trash, it sets your house on fire. Then you can't collect the insurance money because they think you're a scheming football guy, and then you can't do anything about it, so then you have to move away, and then you end up living on the street, all because you wanted to buy the Elite 61 Kevin Owens, hated the figure, and burn it down and, and along with your house. So here we are with this Kevin Owens, guys, and what I wanted to do was take off these kick pads right here and replace them with the Johnny Football Elite 70 kick pads and the Finn Balor feet. I know that, uh, you know, the, the original Johnny Football uh, the kick pads from that Elite 70 figure have blue on the feet. So I was thinking take these, and you guys know we switched it with the Network Spotlight Demon Finn Balor. What if we switched out the feet 
and we added these to this, what would that look like? If you pop that on there, then pop these kick pads out. Since they're the short kick pad mold that you see here on Kevin, how would that look? You put these kick pads onto this Kevin, we may be cooking with something. That may be something that would look good. Maybe the reds probably don't match that well, but it would still be worth a shot maybe. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just messing around with stuff. Uh, I would like to know your thoughts down below if you guys would like to see that swap. Maybe we can put that in the next action figure surgery or something of that nature. But uh, there is Kevin Owens. That is what I wanted to run by you. We also have the Undertaker swap that I was thinking about doing. Um, again, I don't know if I'm going to do it. It's just uh, an idea that somebody brought to my attention yesterday. But we also have our view of the beautiful Jungle Boy football custom. And then we have our just the best AEW talent there is, uh, Luchasaurus right here. So uh, that's a joke, obviously. Kenny Omega is probably the best in my opinion. But Luchasaurus and Jungle Boy are definitely my favorite tag team along with the Young Bucks in AEW. And I cannot wait to see where they go from here as we get closer and closer to weekly television. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. We just had some more epic customs to show you guys as well as the completed uh, Boy and His di Dinosaur tag team as well as some more Finn Balors and this jackass idea for The Undertaker and the jackassery idea for the Kevin Owens. Let me know down look, all the comments just shut down in the comment section below. Oh my god, I just almost forgot, guys. I gotta show you the freaking tripod. I gotta get the tripod off here. Yeah. Okay, I need to go buy a new one. God in heaven. Alright, one day we'll get it off. Alright, here we go. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. The leg is completely snapped off. And uh, I'll either tape it or go buy a new one. But that leg is completely snapped. See, it's supposed to tap. You see that floppy piece right there? That floppy piece is supposed to connect to this long pole in the middle. And then it's supposed to be stationary like you see there. Like it's supposed to connect and now it's all floppy-doppy. See you guys next time.